David, thank you so much for serving our country and joining us here today. When you entered the military in 1992, how were you able to keep up with the Yankees, especially during their dynasty run in the 90s? Uh, well, we had many forms of media, whether, it, whether I was home or whether serving abroad, uh, even during wartime in Iraq and Afghanistan. You know, they had Stars and Stripes uh, newspaper. They had uh, media. They, they would pump the, uh, for big games, sometimes we were able to, to get the World Series and things of that nature. So, uh, yeah, being able to just uh, see it when I could and hear about it from others when I couldn't. What was your favorite memory of being out there and witnessing greatness during that time? Uh, favorite memory, probably the 1978 Yankees uh, from, from my youth and uh, with Ron Guidry pitching and um, you know, all, the, all the greats there. Um, just came together and able to, to win it. And of course, uh, the dynasty that happened after uh, 1990, where uh, Derek Jeter and uh, Andy Pettit and Jorge Posada came in, started a whole other dynasty through the uh, 90s and early 2000s. Uh, so, absolutely uh, great memories. You know, best team in the in the country. I mean, the Yankees. Uh, a lot of the Yankees and a lot of the uh, Major League Baseball players also served in the military during the war. Um, we just celebrated yesterday the 80th anniversary of D-Day, June 6, 1944, uh, with the landings that, on Normandy Beach that helped us to ultimately liberate Europe. And uh, we had many baseball players serving at that time. So uh, just very proud to be here with the Yankee organization and the Yes Network. I thank you for this opportunity. Uh, and just great time, great memories. When you're standing on that field today as the Yankees veteran of the game, listening to God Bless America, what are you going to be most proud of in that moment? Uh, what I'd be most proud of is my family. I mean, I served 30 years in the Army, retired as Lieutenant Colonel. Uh, but, you know, the whole time I was doing it for my family, doing it for my country, and wanting to get back to them. And so 